Gajar ka halwa or carrot halwa is a classic Indian dessert. It is extremely popular all over India. It is served warm so makes a perfect sweet during the cold winter season. It is soft and when done right literally melts in your mouth. Even though it's a dessert, it is loaded with fiber since made with carrots only. Also gluten free since there is no flour added. Please watch the video until the end to learn to make this delectable dessert. I have taken 4 pounds of carrots. They are little under 2 kgs. Now we will have to scrape them well to make sure there is no dirt or brown spots on, on them. It does take time to clean these carrots but it's totally worth it. Nobody likes the gritty halwa. So now I'm done peeling the carrot of this much the scrapes are here. And this is going to compost pile. So nothing is going to go to waste. Now let's wash these carrots with plenty of water. So in the original recipe carrots are always grated before you cook them but and it takes lot of time even though you use food processor it still takes lot of time but i have learned this trick from a caterer many years back so what they did was they just chopped the carrots in big pieces and then pressure cooked it and then later on they mashed it i love this uh, way of doing it and ever since i have been doing it so this is a great tip for you Uh, and it's a big time saver. So I'm done chopping these carrots. This is how they are, one or two inch big pieces, and this is good enough. You don't need to uh, chop in any smaller than this. Now I'm going to add a cup of milk. This is two percent milk. You can use any milk. We just need some moisture to cook them. This is plenty. We don't need any more than that. Actually, I can use half a cup also. Doesn't really matter. And after that, I'm going to cook them in pressure cooker until they are soft. You can use Instapot. You can use electric pressure cooker. And if you don't want to use any of those, you can also use a regular any regular pan. You probably need more uh, moisture or more milk to cook when you cook in an open pan because the steam is not sealed. So I'm going to cook these and we'll get back to you. Let's check if our carrots are cooked well. Yep, they're nice and soft. I'm going to drain the extra liquid and then mash them. Let's mash them really well. I have added one cup of milk, but carrots also release their own water, and that's why there is lot of liquid. at the bottom but once i'm done mashing i'm going to add back that water and reduce the liquid so we don't lose any nutrients from that water let's check if everything is well mashed there are still some little bit bigger pieces so Still mashing now. Okay, now it looks good. 
Now I'm going to cook it for some time to make sure all the liquid is reduced. There is no, it should not be any liquid left in there. And once the, all the liquid is evaporated, I'll be adding sugar to it. These mashed up carrots have been cook, cooking for last 10 minutes and all the water is evaporated now. So it looks good. So let's add the sugar. I'm going to start with two cups of sugar and I probably need another cup uh, but I'm going to start with two only because sometimes carrots are really sweet and you don't need that much sugar. And on the back burner you can see uh, I'm making khoya or mawa which is basically boiled over milk until it turns into a dough consistency. This is an essential part of gajar halwa or carrot halwa which makes it a nice and rich. Also gives it very beautiful color. If you cannot find mawa or khoya you can always add cream or add more butter to it. So it looks like another cup is needed. So total three cups I'm adding. And you can check the description bo box for a detailed list of ingre ingredients. After adding sugar, again it's going to be more liquidy. It's going to release water and then it will start thickening. So you can see it's more liquid now. We just have to keep on cooking until it thickens. It will take about 20 minutes to thicken. It took me a good 40 minutes to cook the carrots in the pressure cooker. 30 minutes for cooking and another 10 minutes to wait to cool, cool it down. Now I'm going to just reduce the heat and let it cook until it thickens and all this water you are seeing in the center should be gone. So we need to reduce all that water. So push it to the side so the water will be evaporated faster and cook for another 20 minutes. it has been good 20 minutes most of the water is evaporated now I'm going to add this koya we made earlier I'm going to save some for garnish later so I'll add most of it this is I'm saving for garnish along with that I'm adding half a cup of cashew broken cashew nuts Let's mix it. The koya has to be well mixed in halwa. We should not be seeing any lumps. Also going to add four tablespoons or one fourth cup of cup of ghee or clarified butter, which is going to give it a nice shine, and of course it's going to taste better. Ghee may, makes everything taste better. So let's stir it again. It smells so good here. I wish you could smell it too. 
it has been good 15 minutes to reduce the water now it's really good nice and thick i'm going to add more ghee to it this is a rich halwa but loved by everyone so another one fourth cup of ghee which is four tablespoon and cardamom powder freshly ground cardamom powder always tastes always tastes good the best flavor ever it's advised not to keep make the powder in advance otherwise it loses its wonderful fragrance okay our halwa is ready now we're going to serve it So our delectable melted mouth halwa, gajar ka halwa is ready. We're going to garnish it with some uh, slivered almonds, or and khoya, remaining khoya which we saved earlier, and also add some more cardamom powder, freshly ground cardamom powder. Don't forget to check the description box for the detailed uh, ingredients list, and don't forget to subscribe for. more recipes more simple recipes like this let me know if you like the recipe if you have any questions feel free to comment i will be more than happy to answer your questions thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and stay connected for more simple recipes like this